वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस सेशन ऑन द टॉप थ्री ट्रिक्स ऑफ हाउ टू क्रैक द गवर्नमेंट जॉब आफ्टर योर इंजीनियरिंग सो मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स हु आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो आइदर दे आर इन कोर्स ऑफ देयर इंजीनियरिंग आइदर दे आर इन सेकेंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर और फोर्थ ईयर और दे माइट हैव कंप्लीटेड देयर इंजीनियरिंग सो इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड इन गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर जॉब्स either it can be in psus or in the state government as assistant executive engineer or in the central government as assistant executive engineer in many of the reputed ministries under esc examination yes so if you are one of them you are trying for a government job okay in technical sector after your engineering yes then i am going to tell you top 3 tricks or i can say principles or things which you should keep in mind while you either start your preparation or during your preparation for the government job so first of all i will tell you the principle first yes so when you are trying to prepare or just going to start the preparation or you are in middle of the preparation yes so first of all you should understand the principle of how to crack these examinations and then i will tell you three things which you should keep in mind so first we will see the principle okay first we will see what the principle but what is the principle the principle one of the important principle you should keep in mind while you are preparing for government job examination is you should be knowing your exam the principle is what you should be knowing the exam okay whichever examinations you are preparing you might be preparing for engineering services examination you might be preparing for gate okay so in this exam what i can tell which examinations this examination can be your engineering service examination it can be gate examination okay it can be ssc je yes it can be your state ae or je examination yes in your state ae either aee assistant executive engineer or assistant engineer or je junior engineer right so either of these examinations you might be preparing yes so the principle i told is what know your exam very nicely okay what is the meaning of knowing this examination so when i say knowing your examination yes knowing your examination knowing the exam for which you are preparing what is the meaning of this what is the meaning okay what is the meaning that i am telling you that you should know your examination then what is the meaning behind it so we'll point it down the first meaning is you should be thorough with the syllabus yes your preparation should be as per the syllabus it's a very important point yes you should not be preparing everything under the sun you should not be studying from your know, 10 books and you know all the topics in those 10 books no you should keep your preparation limited to what the syllabus given in the notification of that particular examination the first thing is syllabus second thing is the question the questions they ask in this examination the questions the questions i will categorize two things you should keep in mind the difficulty level of the question because you see all the examinations which i have mentioned they have the we can say they are going to ask you from your btech only but the difficulty level varies from exam to exam right so you should be knowing what the difficulty level of the questions and the concepts from which they are asking the question repeatedly yes the concepts which they are asking repeatedly so these two are very important things which you should keep in mind the difficulty level of the questions and the concepts which they are asking regularly but how to know that what is the difficulty level and the concepts they are asking 
for that you should always have thorough understanding and practice of what pyqs what is pyqs the previous year questions of that particular examination the previous year questions this should be thorough in your mind because once you are thorough with the pyqs then obviously from that you can get complete idea of the difficulty level and the concepts and all these things actually will cover what the syllabus so this is no matter this is what i told this is what knowing your examination your preparation should be what your preparation should be pertaining to this yes it should not be random preparation it should have what a proper channelization and that will happen only if you are knowing the syllabus rightly and your questions so let us come back what i told initially that the principle behind cracking this government jobs after your engineering the principle is knowing your exam very nicely yes and when i told knowing your exam then which things are in the knowing your exam that is the syllabus and questions now how to understand this you know that how i will understand the syllabus is what questions is what yes so i'll repeat some point so here we will keep the three tricks or i can say three important we can say three important points i can say while you are preparing three important points yes and the third point will solve your point number 1 and point number 2 yes the first point i have already told i repeat it you should be knowing all the concepts all the concepts yes from which concepts from which questions are framed yes from all the concepts should know all the concepts from which questions are framed in this examination questions are framed in these examinations or exams i can say in short you should be knowing all the concepts yes is the first trick or i can say first thing you should keep in mind okay that you should be knowing all the concepts or i can say concepts and here i can write down what related formulas and i can say what related formulas because because i can say 90 to 95 percent of the questions will be from that given set of concepts only some questions always they will ask here and there or which might not been asked before yes but 90 to 95 percent of the questions are from the set of concepts which the repeatedly repeat in the examinations so this is what i told concepts from which questions are framed in this examinations you should be having what thorough understanding of these concepts or listing of the concepts and the formulas associated right second thing which i have already told you but i will again repeat yes again repeat the previous year questions yes the previous years questions yes this should be you should be thorough yes plus additional questions you should also be having an idea of additional questions and these additional questions are not part of the previous year questions but they can be asked yes so i can say that you know previous year question will form around 80% of the questions but 20% questions always are asked in the examination which are new or you know they are in ask the same question asked in a different way twisting the concepts so this is not additional questions so previous year questions and additional questions this should be your what we can say this should be you have should be thorough or well prepared before you are going for the examination so first point i told you should know all the concepts from which questions are framed in this examination and second i told what you should be having idea of all the previous year questions and what additional questions they can ask in the examination now we will go to the third point yes and very important point 
which will help you in fulfilling the first and second point now somebody might think that okay sir you told that first point you told that about uh, the concepts all the concepts which are regularly asked second you told sir all the previous questions and the additional questions they can frame in the examination but sir from where i will get this concepts right from where i will get the concepts from where i will get the questions how i will um, pre uh, prepare them in a structured manner so there is the third point now by self study also you can do this you can read from books okay from the syllabus okay you can read the standard books or you can read the previous questions but that is going to take a lot of time yes because it is not some uh, two chapters or two subjects no there are more than 10 subjects and each subject having more than 10 chapters right so it is going to take lot of time if you start doing these things yourself certainly you can do that I will not tell that it is impossible that you cannot prepare for yourself, but certainly that is going to take a lot of time. Yes, a lot of time. And the second thing, important thing is that in our life, apart from preparation, is we have less time. We have to prepare everything in a given period of time. We don't have four years now to prepare. We have, if you are third year, you might get two years or one year or three years maximum. Yes. So therefore, the third point is very important that you should take you should take help from a guide yes you should take help from a guide and the guide should be what the guide should be in such a way that this guide should be expert of this examination right the guide should be expert in this examination yes so if you have this guide which is a very important point right if you have the perfect guide then the guide will teach you all the required concepts without teaching the things which are not asked in the examination the guide will complete all the previous questions and additional questions which can be asked in the examination because the guide is an expert of this examination yes the guide exactly knows that from which which subject which which concepts are repeatedly asked right and which type of questions are repeatedly asked and if some questions are not asked then which questions can be framed freshly yes so that reduces your effort to find out the concepts and questions now the effort on your part will be studying those concepts from the guide or expert and also solving the questions first with the guide or expert and then solving yourself right so this is the third important thing that you should take help from a guide who should be expert of this examination the guide can be an individual okay the guide can be an individual or a particular institute yes yes but or i can organization to be more inclusive yes might be an individual or an organization but the condition is what that individual or organization should be expert of these examinations right so if that organization or that individual should be expert of this i can say examination you should not take guidance from random people who don't have experience of these examinations no should take guidance from experts or a guide who is expert in the examination now how to understand you know that you know that particular guide is a good expert in the examination it's a very simple thing suppose the particular guide is guiding you in a particular subject if you are able to solve more than 80 percent of the questions of that subject that means you have got a proper guide or expert that's i can say a litmus test to check that do you have a proper guide or not Okay, you take guidance from some individual organization, yes, and if after listening to the guidance, you are able to solve more than 80% in the first trial, that means what? You are doing fine or you can say the guide has taught you very nicely, yes. So this I can say are three tricks or I can say three points which you should keep in mind, yes, which you should keep in mind, yes, 
वाइल यू आर प्रिपेरिंग फॉर गवर्नमेंट जॉब एग्जामिनेशन आफ्टर योर इंजीनियरिंग तो फर्स्ट पॉइंट इज वॉट यू शुड बी नोइंग ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम विच क्वेश्चन आर फ्रेम्ड इन दिस एग्जामिनेशन एंड द एसोसिएट फॉर्मूलास रिलेटेड फॉर्मूलास Also, you should be thorough with all the previous questions and additional questions which can be framed for that exam. And to know this point one and point two, better is what to take help from a particular guide. Okay, that will reduce your effort and also increase your efficiency and accuracy for this examinations. Right. So, for more such guidance, you can uh, message me. Okay, or join my group. okay you can search on telegram and you can post your questions in my group my telegram group is my telegram group is satyajit sir pw okay and uh, better if you are a civil engineer i can help more civil engineer because i am a btech and mtech both from iit khadakpur okay i am a btech and mtech both from iit khadakpur okay in civil engineering so it will be better that if you take guidance related to civil engineering but yes if you are from other branches also i can direct you to the experts and from them also you can take guidance okay hope you like this video and for more guidance you can always visit my telegram group can search this telegram group on telegram and you can ask your questions okay so thank you very much okay so keep on keep attending this such kind of sessions and uh, we will come up with some more videos thank you very much